Good morning, Oilers, and welcome to Mindful Monday. You guessed it, this month's theme is mindfulness. There will be lots of fun activities and events this month to help you practice self-care. There are so many great things happening on campus and off campus as our Oilers continue to dominate in every sport and activity you can imagine. Did you know that CIF recognized cheer as an official CIF sport? Our freshman cheer team qualified for nationals this year and competed in the finals in Anaheim a week ago. They advanced and eventually edged out the fantastic Downey High School team to win first place and the national championship title. Congratulations to freshman cheer for your incredible victory. Graduation will be here before you know it. What you may not know is that graduates can earn special recognitions for years spent focusing on certain fields of study. For the first time at our school, a special arts literacy course is being offered. So if you've taken lots of art, music, or APA classes over the years, you really should apply for this course to show off at graduation. With more information, we pass it off to Kiki. Kiki! Thanks, Angel. I'm here to tell you all about the Arts Literacy Cord you can earn at graduation. Requirements for this cord include having a GPA of at least 2.0, earning a 3.0 GPA in all arts courses, you completed two to three years of arts education, at least one year of advanced level coursework, including an honors, AP, CTE, or dual enrollment class, and you have participated in or displayed your artwork through a performance or exhibit. This cord is great for any arts or APA students, and applications can be found in the College and Career Center in room A9 in the Breezeway. And it must be turned in and completed by March 15th. Thank you, Oilers, and keep the creative spirit flowing. Back to you, Angel! Thanks, Kiki. Remember, applications are due March 15th, so get on it. There are lots of changes on the horizon, and a big one will be next year's bell schedule. We don't know all the details, but Izzy has some new info for us. Hey Oilers, with the changes to zero period next year and class selections coming up, we thought it would be beneficial to provide some information about the currently offered hybrid classes. Next year's bell schedule has not been finalized and edits are still being made, so discussing some of the currently offered hybrid classes might help provide a better idea of what they are and what they look like. This year, eight hybrid courses are being offered. They are... Health, Spanish, Government and Econ, AP Studio Arts, AP Computer Science Principles, Social Media and Web Design, and Spanish 4. Huntington High's AVID teacher teaches the hybrid health class, and she has some information about hybrid classes. So what is a hybrid class? A hybrid class is a class that we offer on our campus that has the same standards and the same curriculum as the regular course, but it offers more flexibility within your schedule. So rather than meeting in person physically throughout the week, you're going to meet with your teacher at a limited basis and you're going to have more flexibility to do the work on your own time. The schedule for a hybrid class is a little bit different depending on which hybrid course offerings are available as well as which class you choose. So some classes meet once a week, some classes meet two times a week. It depends on the teacher, the curriculum, and how the class itself is being taught. I teach hybrid health. And so within the hybrid health, we meet one day a week. And within that one day, we either have a guest speaker, we will introduce a project or a new unit to the course. And then you have the rest of the week to work at your own pace on that assignment or on that curriculum to better understand what we would be doing in class for the following week. Each week builds on itself. And we also have a process called the check-in. The check-in allows students to meet one-on-one -on -one with their teacher, not only to turn in that week's assignment for the module, but also to make sure that they're on the right track and have all their questions answered. If you are interested in signing up for a hybrid class next year, you will need to contact your guidance counselor and or the teacher of the hybrid class that you're interested in. Good luck picking your classes and have a great week! Last week, we talked about entrepreneurship and we found a fine example right here in our own student body with a new clothing brand you should check out. What's your brand name? Shatter with an X in front of the A. And where can we find it? On Instagram. How would you describe your brand? Um, a student-based alternative brand that focuses on the art side of fashion. I make them in the art room with Mr. Harward. What inspired you to start your brand? My love for drawing and just art in general. What's the process look like for you? It's basically just going on Photoshop and hacking whatever you want to and printing it out and then you're supposed to put baby oil on the paper and then you put it onto a screen and put it under a light and then you wash the screen and 
there, you put paint on it, and you have a shirt. What's your favorite part of the process? Definitely, like, squeegeeing, like, actually printing the shirt. Go follow Shatter on Instagram. Really cool you're able to start a business like that. Perfect for today because it's National Be Heard Day, an occasion for small business owners and aspiring business owners to make their own voices and ideas heard. The day celebrates small businesses and encourages them to stand up for themselves, their ideas, and lay claim to the share of their market. Hi everyone, I'm Cherish. And I'm Amira. And we own Friday's Closet. So we're a sustainable online clothing shop, but we're having our first in-person pop-up shop on March 12th and we want to see you there. So we first got the inspiration for Friday's Closet because we wanted to help people experiment with their personal style without having to spend a ton of money. We love hunting for secondhand pieces and picking out exactly what we think our customers will love. Our pop-up is going to be right down the street from the high school, so make sure to check out our Instagram for more information. We're going to have tons of $5 bins and $1 bins to pick through and affordable fashion for guys and girls, so we hope to see you there. <laughs> At Friday's Closet dot US on Instagram. Mwah! Golden Olive is a Mediterranean and Italian cuisine restaurant that consists of many different options for food. For instance, they have entrees, kebab platters, salads, sides, soups, pita wraps, and even pizza and pasta. We ordered the chicken shawarma, which has, you guessed it, chicken, as well as chips, hummus, and a little salad. We also got pita bread, which was so delicious. We also ordered an amazing pizza, and there's so many topping options, but we chose pepperoni and bacon. So I hope you try this out because you won't regret it. Did you think we could get through a whole episode without talking about food? Neither did we. Here's Audrey with a really interesting and healthy salad you can make yourself. Hey Oilers, are you looking for a healthy and relatively easy to make meal? Well, I got you covered. Start with peeling your potatoes and then go ahead and slice them into wedges. Then, dice some rosemary and garlic and add it into a bowl with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Then, add the potatoes into this mixture and coat them completely. After the potatoes are coated with the mixture, transfer them into a dish and bake at 450 Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. While we wait for our potatoes to bake, you can go ahead and slice up some apples. After you slice your apples, you can go ahead and make an egg. I chose to make a 6 minute egg, which requires you to let eggs boil in water for 6 minutes and then transfer them into an ice water bath, but you can choose to do any egg you would like. When your eggs, potatoes, and apples are finally all prepared, you can plate your salad by laying down some lettuce on your plate and adding everything else on top. I added some lemon juice and a bit of salt and pepper as well. Once everything is to your liking, you can go ahead and enjoy your salad. Lemon juice? Whatever happened to ranch? But I digress. Lastly everyone, don't forget to break out those Chromebooks for your homeroom activity today. Let's see if we can break the school Wi-Fi. See y'all next week.